Hello guys, welcome to my channel. We are in October, so we are celebrating Jimtober. So this whole month is about Jimin. If you are reading from another BTS members, there's tons of BTS channels out there, same like me. And I think they're doing a pretty good job also, yeah? You ask them, yeah? But here, we're doing Jim Cooper right now. Oh yeah, I promise you that I read uh, Jimin as father, right? Today, we're going to do his married life, yeah? Jimin as a husband and father. But I want to focus more to his role as a father. Whom does he want as his kid, girl or boy, and he will be loyal to her or not? Does he love his kid? Does he give importance to preference or preference to his family? Whom does he want as his kid, girl or boy? I think he already said it, yeah, he want girl. How about we change it into, will he have boy or girl, yeah? All right. Okay. Will Jimin has boy or girl? Eight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and Cups. I don't know, but I got feeling that he will have a three beautiful daughter. <laughs> Definitely, he will get what he want, which is daughter. Yeah. <laughs> wow, congratulations, Jimin. And will he be loyal to her or not? Her who? Loyal to the kids? Of course, he will. Um, I, I'm not sure what you mean. Loyal her is the wife or the, or the kids, but um, I think, uh, let's say that it's the kids because that's the theme, right? Okay, let's see. Will he be loyal to his kids or not? Have you ever met father that is not loyal to the kids? I think it's kind of father who's like, when they make promise, they don't mean what they say. They betray their kids, right? Let's see. Is Jimmy loyal to the kids or not? King of Pentacles. It's a good sign. Nine of Cups. And Eight of Swords. Oh my god. Um, clarify this Eight of Swords, please. Eight of Swords is Six of Wands and Seven of Swords. Mm. Okay, <laughs> you know what, when I look at this card, I immediately remember the story of Frank Sinatra that uh, his daughter or, or son, Frank Sinatra has a child, right? And that child was kidnapped, yeah, because he is a famous Star. And I think that's his biggest fear. Yeah, he is afraid if uh, his kids is suffering because of him. Yeah, because of his popularity. Uh, in example, um, yeah, you you can imagine anyone who's trying to take advantage uh, on someone's child because their parents has a reputation, right? That's one of his biggest fears. This eight of swords. And I got a fact offer protective energy. He's gonna be offer protective towards his children, yeah, because yeah, because he got reputation and he knows how nasty people can be out there, right? So it's like he's saying like this, yeah, dear my child, I always wanted to have you, I always dream to have you in my life. You are my dreams come true, my child, yeah, my children, yeah. And so, if you come into my life, I'm gonna protect you. I'm gonna protect you. I'm gonna restrict you <laughs> because who I am. So nobody would take advantage of you because of me. And of course, he's very loyal to his children. Yeah. 
He loves his kids. Of course he loves his kids. Yeah. Look, he loves his kids so much. They are his uh, dream come true. Yeah. I think when he said that he wanted to other, he really mean it. Yeah. Because he gave importance to or preference to his family. Yes, of course. Look, look how important they are to him. That's what I get here about kidnapping. I hope it's not talking about his children will be experiencing kidnapping one day. I hope not, but I hope it's just a fear, but not come up to a realization. But uh, somehow that's come up to the surface. I don't know if uh, it's uh, his thoughts or what. Yeah. Uh, Jin Min two nine eight. She asks, "How will Jin Min be as a husband, and how will he be as a father?" Yeah, thank you for the question. How will Jin Min be as a husband? Husband. First, we got the Empress. And then we got page of swords, and then we got six of coin. This is a gentle father. Yeah. This is the kind of father who like feels like a mom. Yeah. So uh, he's your dad. Yes, he's your father. Yeah. Oh, it is his husband, father. Alright, sorry, um, I kind of be sleepy. <laughs> so, this is him as a husband, yeah? Empress. Uh, yeah, actually, <laughs> actually, it's like uh, he played the role of wife. He, he embodies a lot of feminine quality as a husband. Yeah. If you like someone who is masculine, macho, someone who is like boss you around, yeah. Uh, if you want someone like that, uh, you better not <laughs> marry him. Yeah. This is a kind of husband where he is very nurturing, uh, take care of you, caring for your emotional needs. Uh, this is kind of a keeper, yeah? Someone who gives, gives a lot, yeah? He uh, expects a lot of present uh, that coming from him. Also, I think he will take the role of a mom a lot. Especially when the baby is born, yeah? Usually men are, oh, you take care of the baby, it's your your child right they don't want to know they think that they have to sleep because they have to work tomorrow so they don't want to be disturbed and they left their wife to work alone taking care of the babies yeah and then they will think like hey, she got it easy she only have to take care of the baby in the house it's easy I'm doing all the job here making money I have all this burden he's not someone like that if you need him to be there, he's going to be there. He's going to protect you because he loves you. If this is Emperor, I'm going to say he will protect you because you belong to him. You're part of him. You're part of his property, right? But this is Empress, so I'm going to say that he will protect you because he loves you. Yeah? Uh, I mean, if, if you see mom suddenly become 10 times or 100 times stronger when their baby are crying. Yeah, in example, somebody bully their baby. Mom suddenly can become the strongest person alive and fight the bully. Yeah, she. Um, with, that's the power of women. Yeah, the power of mom. Yeah, uh, your mom can be the most powerful person in the world just because you cry for help, just because you're in danger. Right? And that's how feminine people protect, yeah? And um, how masculine people protect is because it's about his responsibility. My responsibility is you, so I'm going to protect you, right? 
because he has this feminine instinct yeah, in him, yeah, and that's what he operates from, yeah. He's gonna give a lot. He's not going to leave you alone when after you give birth to his children, yeah. Uh, you know, baby blues. Uh, when women have babies, they are experiencing a hormone imbalance. Yeah, and uh, most men don't want to deal with this, and they choose to divorce their wife or leave their wife because they are uh, they are barely now look ugly. Yeah, or they are always angry. Yeah, they men love them a lot. But this is not, yeah, he's gonna stay with you. He's going to understand why you experiencing hormone imbalance after you give birth, yeah, baby blues. He's not gonna leave you. He's gonna be full understanding. He's very tolerating. He's not here to dominate you. He's here to love you, yeah? And that's the energy of the Empress in men, yeah? Uh, I'm not saying that it makes him sissy, but it makes him operate from love and care. I think I would like to know if you say no, you sure. My question is, what she will do in base of father or previous teenage daughter? All right, now the daughter is already teenager and she is rebellious type. Yeah, what will he do? This is what will Jimin do. First six of cups and then justice and then empress. He will make approach with love. It's not showing that he is going to be like panic or what. Uh, it's, it's, it's just saying that he will approach this situation with love and care. Yeah. Uh, his strongest quality is the empress. It show up again. Show up a lot. He will um, uh, using empathetic approach. Yeah, uh, to him, she is still his, his loving daughter. Yeah, that he used to know when she was growing up. Um, I just want to make clarify now. I'm gonna pull three cards since uh, I think we, he will have three daughters. Yeah, is there is his daughter will be rebellious. We're gonna see, is he going to have a rebellious daughter or how will his daughter be like when they are teenager? First, uh, death, transformation. Okay, um, this is just a shallow reading, okay? I mean by shallow reading is that if one day we're going to do in-depth reading, uh, my interpretation might be changed, yeah? This is just one card only, yeah, one card reading only. Death and rebirth. It's about transformation, yeah. Uh, I think he will have a transformative daughter, yeah. An example maybe when this first daughter is baby, she when she was kids, uh, she is very um, caring. She is very obedient. When she grow up, she is going to be like rebellious or angry, yeah. Very transformative, yeah. Um, or, but what I get from here is that when she was little, she looked ugly, uninteresting, and unattractive. But after she grew up, after she hits teenager and puberty, suddenly men are flocking around her. Yeah, men, uh, she's very attractive. Yeah, that's what I get. Someone who's uh, his first daughter gonna be like very different when she was kid. Uh, compared to when she was teenager, it's gonna be very different. People who meet her from when she was a kid will be shocked if they meet her again when they are teenager. Like, this is this is your first daughter? Oh my God, so different! Really? They're gonna they're, they're gonna have difficulty to believe that this is that little kid who's 
always climb the tree. Yeah. It's his first daughter will be transformative, just like her dad. Yeah. All right. Hey, I think I think both Jimin and his wife are transformative, right? I think it runs in the family. <laughs> and second daughter, the moon. This one is kind of quiet. Yeah. This uh, his second child is a bit quiet. A uh, little secretive and very introvert. Yeah, that's what I get from here. And I think she is kind of nerdy. Yeah, kind of nerdy because I don't know how, but this gives me like a lot of internet time. Next level, maybe she loves Star Wars franchise. She is gonna be, her room is gonna be all about Star Wars. Yeah, all right, that's the second daughter. Yeah. The third daughter, Page of Cups. This is the star. This is the this is the one who put smile on his face. Yeah, this is the adorable little cute girl, the last child. Yeah, the cutest. Uh, based on this, I think the one who have potential to be rebellious when they are teenager is either first child or second child. Yeah. Uh, but I think if he has, uh, if if his daughter is going to be rebellious, he's going to make approach with empathetic approach. He's going to listen to his children, but what they want to say, you know, what's on their mind. I'm here to take care of you. Yeah, let me take care of you. I'm gonna listen to you. Very empathetic, very loving. Yeah, he's not going like uh, lock you in a room just to control you or to make you submit, yeah? And with the justice here, I think he's going to make um, terms and agreement with his children. Now, there's a man named Daddy Corbusier in my country, and he raised his son all by himself. He's a single dad, yeah, since his son is still little, small. I think toddler or something, yeah. Anyway, uh, when his son grow up, rich puberty, yeah, he told his son, look, I'm not going to control you, I'm not going to tell you what to do because you already grow up, yeah, you're already 13, yeah, but whatever you do, you have to tell me, yeah, so if you want to drunk, you tell me, if you want to take drugs, you tell me, yeah, so that is term and agreement. And I think that is the kind of thing that he will do to his children. Uh, okay, you can have a boyfriend, but he must send you home at this hour. If he want to take you for a date, he has to tell me where are you going. And I think with the Six of Cups here, his daughter will love him so much that she will be really afraid to uh, disappoint their sweet father, yeah, and I think uh, that's how that's how he uh, able to be friend with his rebellious teenage daughter, yeah. Ariel seven five six uh, ye y nine w. She asks on the third question. You say uh, and. And you say like Jungkook, he also wants to have family. I'm so happy to see members of your family. Will he be a good person to marry? When will that person come into his life? All right. Will he meet a good person? Good person. Yeah. Okay. He can have a a bad wife, right? Uh, five of Swords, the Sun, and Justice. Uh, yes, he will meet a good person to marry. However, uh, the way he meet this woman is not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. But there's some pain here. Something about like a loss. I think he's going to take one, one time. Yeah, he's going to have a serious date yeah, with someone that he want to marry, yeah, that he want to build family with. But 
uh, this relationship is this relationship is not working, so he has to let it go. Yeah, but after he let this one go, uh, without he without he expecting it, it's gonna make him feeling very happy and free. Yeah, and because he's feeling happy and free, he's finally yeah marry someone. Yeah, justice is kind of like a yeah. Uh, marriage is a contract. Yeah. Let's say that after he get out of the army, he meets someone that he really like. Yeah, and it appears like everything is promising. Yeah, uh, the family loves her, and he loves, uh, and his her family loves him. Yeah, but it's just not happening. Yeah, they don't have choice but to split up. Yeah, this is a failure relationship. Yeah. And so when he let this one go, he's gonna meet someone else that is more suitable to him. Yeah. And I think this person is meant to come into his life just to tell him, just to show him what he doesn't want in a relationship. So when the real person comes, he can appreciate things that he learned from the previous failure relationship. Yeah. So if you hear Jimin is dating someone seriously and he is about to marry, um, probably it's this energy and this one, this sun person is the one who is going to bring him the true happiness that he never experienced before yeah, before he met her that's how he knows that this is the one that I'm going to marry because he feels happy with her and the, what I mean by happy is truly happy yeah the happiness that he never felt before. I want to clarify first this five of swords. Five of swords about eight of coins. The chariot. You know, there's an eight of pentacles here, so this is related to his job, yeah? Uh, his job. And chariot is someone who's very, very busy. And then nine of sword is like uh, conflicting. Oh, I'm so busy looking for money. I I'm so busy doing my work. Uh, will I ever find happiness? I think this is about him feeling hopeless. Uh, will I ever get married? You know, will I ever find someone and get married? Yeah, that is how it feels here. Uh, there's a lot of sadness here. Uh, like I have to choose between my job and my love life, but this is impossible. I love my art. Yeah, I love doing what I'm doing right now. So this is impossible. Impossible for me to leave this one behind. Yeah, but if I keep doing this, if I keep working, keep, if I keep myself busy doing this. I don't know if I will ever find a wife. Yeah, I don't know if I will ever find someone to love. We will find her in a way the sun. Yeah? So we can ask. When? When will he find this woman that makes him very happy? When magician this is card about manifestation. It's just saying when his manifestation is happening. It's basically just saying when the right time. Yeah, when it's the right time. But when is the right time? Uh, I think it's if the answer like this, usually it's because uh, it's depend on his action and his choice. Yeah, because it's saying divine timing. As we know, timing in tarot is very fluid. Yeah. If you can do it now, you're going to get it now. When he's ready, she's going to come. One thing about manifestation is that it's very magical, yeah? Especially because he keep uh, trying to manifest her, right? By creating imaginary wife. Uh, the way they meet is going to be very magical. It seems like the whole universe orchestrated us to meet in the most beautiful way. I cannot tell you how because they don't tell me how yeah they just want me to say it has something to do with law of attraction yeah define timing she's gonna come when he and her 
are both ready. Yeah? Because they are meant for each other. That's why the universe wants them to meet when they both are ready to meet. Yeah? Yeah, that is how to answer the, this question. I hope you satisfy with the answer. I think I'm gonna stop the reading here. I gotta sleep you right now, I'm sorry. Uh, you see I'm yawning a lot. I'm gonna continue again tomorrow. Besides, it's already one hour duration in my timer. Yeah. Uh, I hope you stay tuned for until Timber is ending. Uh, I want to apologize if apparently I cannot do all the questions. On November, I plan to do uh, the same with Chin because his birthday will come in early on December. Yeah, We got baby on birthday on 30 December, right? So I'm gonna divide it. Yeah. All right. After after gym October, this is 29, right? We still get two days. Yeah. I hope I can upload daily. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for your likes and comments. And I hope I'll see you again on my next video. Yeah. Bye. -bye.